Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I'm doing some uh, cleanup today from uh, cooking down uh, maple syrup. And I wanted to talk to you guys today about something that uh, maybe you don't know about. Now I have what I call an aw shit box down in the uh, basement. And uh, I use that to uh, keep stuff in that uh, might come in handy if the heat goes out or the power goes out or there's no water, something like that. And uh, most of that stuff that's in that box, you guys probably already know about. You probably already have some of that stuff yourself. But there's one thing that maybe you don't know about, and that's what I want to talk to you guys today about. And I have it right down there on the counter, and that is an immersion heater. And uh, what an immersion heater is, is it's a uh, basically a heater that you can plug in, stick into a... Uh, bucket of water and it will heat that bucket of water up. Now it's not going to work if uh, there's no uh, grid power, no electricity, but if it's some type of hybrid situation where you have electricity but you don't have water because if you don't have water you're going to have no way to uh, heat water. And uh, if you don't um, have any hot water it's going to be hard to uh, clean stuff and to uh, Work on uh, things like basic hygiene, cleaning clothes, cleaning dishes, and that's not going to be uh, important uh, one or two days into a situation, but a week into it, ten days into a situation like that, it's going to be uh, it's going to be kind of important to be able to start cleaning stuff up. Um, like I said, if you got a generator or something, something like this could help you uh, save firewood or uh, something like that because. Uh, these, uh, these immersion heaters will work fairly quickly and they'll heat up a fairly large quantity of water. If I wanted to heat five or six gallons of water back on the fire pit, I would use quite a bit of firewood. So it's kind of a something that uh, wouldn't work in every situation, but definitely has a use, I believe, in, uh, my, uh, in my situation here. So I keep one of these guys around. And um, another thing too, you know, as far as helping neighbors out, if you have a uh, generator running and uh, you're heating them some water so they can do some dishes or they can uh, clean some clothes 10 days into a uh, into an SHTF um, event um, that's that's something to barter right there um, people talk a lot about barter when it comes to uh, SHTF but uh, a bucket of hot water to clean stuff that's barter right there so uh, anyway I'm gonna plug this guy in I'm gonna get it in that bucket of water there kind of show you a little bit how this uh, works um, just so you guys know about it All right, I filled this bucket up with uh, cold tap water, and I put my uh, immersion heater into it and uh, plugged it in. Um, you always want to keep an immersion heater completely submerged when you're using it, otherwise you'll burn it out. Uh, and of course, you don't want to touch this water with that plugged in. It is electricity and water, so you want to be careful. Um, these immersion heaters also... Um, Use quite a bit of electricity. This isn't probably something that's going to work with like a small battery pack um, because these draw about 1500 watts of electricity. So it'd be something that you would uh, want to use a small generator um, with. And you can see there, I got a little bit of a probe in there. And I'm going to show you guys what the water temperature is. And it's still going up. And this will climb right up to almost boiling uh, from my experience. I've been. Uh, it's been a good 15 minutes or so since I uh, plugged this in. If I wanted to uh, heat this five gallons or so of water that I have in this uh, bucket up over the fire pit, um, you'd be looking at almost an hour's worth of uh, work by the time you got the fire going, you got the water out there, and uh, you would burn uh, a significant amount of wood to uh, heat um, this water. Um, plus, you'd have to have some type of uh, cauldron or something that you... Uh, you could uh, put five gallons of water in to even heat it where these immersion heaters you can just use in a regular five gallon pail or whatever that you have but uh anyway just wanted to uh, show you how this uh this works here give you a pretty good idea how fast that uh temperature comes up um on the water in another 10 minutes or so this water be warm enough to uh do dishes or to uh, wash something up. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee. I appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys are getting a little information and a little entertainment out of my video. Hopefully this here will uh, give you some uh, something to think about and maybe something that would work for your situation, for your preps. But anyway, you guys have a good day.